Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to find out is the F-83 has pre-breaker or just a feeder? Let's find out. First I'm going to remove the top here. This pre-easy to come out as well. They're pre-easy. Okay. Pretty easy to come out. So this is the 83 millimeter, the diamond-like coating. Uh, the coatings are pretty nice. Okay. Uh, just the coating, diamond-like coating. Uh, just regular birds with just coating. So this one is uh, espresso friendly. Uh, it does a pretty good job though. Okay, so let's take a look at the agar closely. Okay, I set a low RPM. It's spinning right now. So this is the agar, as you can see, spins. Imagine this chopstick is coffee beans. Let's say I'm going to feed into the top here. Uh, watch you watch what happened to this uh, chopstick or beans as you can see the feeding to the end of the bird set okay okay you see that just feed in the beans are feeding to the birds so it's not you're not breaking anything I mean you know I bet you're gonna break something but it's not a true pre breaker so this is a more like feeder, okay? So they're feeding to the bottom. Again, the one spin is feeding to the bottom there, and then obviously we got crushed through these uh, birds, okay? We are DSC birds, top and bottom. So this is a stationary, so this one does not move. And uh, the bottom birds are moved. So they're crushed, and then coming out from that chute right there on the bottom, okay? As you can see, this is not a true pre-breaker, but it does a great job grinding coffee. So I hope this video clarified you had a question about the auger issues with the DF-83V. I'm going to see you guys next time.